Yo, what is going on guys? I've got an updated Ancient Gururumon deck list as well as gameplay for you guys. Now, over the past couple of weeks, we have been getting a lot of new promos and this one we have is the Lobomon that when digivolving, you may digivolve him into an Ancient Gururumon for a cost of one, uh, ignoring its summoning condition, so, and then at the end of the turn it is deleted, but you basically get to, in one turn, easily have access to Ancient Gururumon, who's just an absolutely crazy boss monster and and um, just a lot of other Garurumon and hybrid spirit warriors like support in this deck. I am playing the Nokia package with the BT5 uh, Gabumon here because it can search. Um, there's the Nokia, it can search Ancient Garurumon, which, um, you know, Strabimon actually can't do himself, as well as the Were Garurumons I'm playing. Um, I'm playing a bunch of other blue support cards like Hammer Spark just to gain memory. I'm playing Davis as well as Sora Joe, one copy of Omnimon uh, for the extra attacks. And I'm also taking in the Wergurumon Sagittarius mode here because when you have him paired with the Wergurumon, this can be a security attack plus one Digimon, and then you you know pair that with an ancient Gururumon, make him active during the um, during whenever you're attacking, and that can be a decent amount of damage right there. So guys, that is going to be the list. Um, if you have suggestions, feel free to let me know. But let's get into the gameplay. So. I am going to be starting off with this opening hand, which is pretty sweet. Uh, I do have the Lobomon as well as the Nokia for the Gabumon, which is a pretty sick combo. Uh, unfortunately, I do have the Strabimon, and usually you do want to play him as opposed to digivolving him over something like the Upamon, but it all works out because I'm going to play the Nokia for a 3 cost and then play the Gabumon for 0 uh, just for free off the Nokia and then draw a card. And I drew into the Ancient Garurumon, which is super, super crazy uh, because now I do have the Lobomon so effectively. Uh, if I do have enough memory to go into the Lobomon for a total of three memory, I can just go straight into Ancient Gururumon, attack a couple times, um, and you know, be done with that. So, my opponent is playing a Tactimon version of Purple, where essentially you're trying to get out Tactimon, who's a super sweet bot mo monster, and get him to attack multiple times with something like War Growlmon. Um, and you know, control the board from there. So, I'm going to go straight into Lobomon. So, Digivolve him for two. And then go into Ancient Gurumon for one. I'm actually going to rest the Nokia uh, to reduce the cost of Ancient Gurumon by one. So that is only a two cost total. I'm going to swing with the Ancient Gurumon and then use the effect to make up to two hybrids and or uh, Garurumon Digimon active again. So he's going to be able to attack two times with 13,000 DP, which is pretty crazy. Plus, I got the draw off of the Upamon. And now with three memory, um, <laughs> unfortunately, I don't have like another ancient Garurumon because I do have the second copy of Lobamon. But I'm just going to go Coelamon, which is the one cost blue blocker that we finally got out of a Battle of Omega. So that's super sweet, very memory efficient. And then I'm just going to play the Gabumon for my hand, hopefully, add some more cards uh, and would you know <laughs> I'm revealing three copies of our three Garurumon so I'm just going to add the ancient Garurumon there since I do have the Lobomon so next turn uh, I'll be able to follow up with hopefully getting two ancient Garurumons on field um, but at the end of the turn uh, don't forget about that restriction. At the end of the turn, uh, there is the effect where, you know, if you summon him, or if you digivolve him using Lobomon's effect, he dies at the end phase. Um, however, Ancient Gurumon does have a pretty nice on deletion effect where you get to just play a level 4 or lower hybrid from your hand. I think it's blue hybrid, but anyways, you get to play either Lobomon or Kendo Gururumon uh, or Strabimon, uh, which is pretty sweet. So I'm just going to be able to play the Lobomon. Now, I don't, I won't be able to get his on Digivolution effect, but he does have the Inherited, where if you're Digivolving into Ancient Gururumon, you can reduce the cost by 2. So my opponent did actually set up with the Tactimon. Tactimon is a super sweet card. Uh, whenever he attacks, you can either choose one of the following effects like gain 2,000, uh, gain one memory, or blow up three rookies on your opponent's side of the field, which I actually only thought it was one rookie. Yeah, three is kind of crazy. It's supposed to be like a counter to Lord Nightwan, which I think is super sweet in a lore uh, fashion, but um, if he is the only card on your side of the field, you get to just activate all three, and it's not once per turn. So that's the whole combo with like War Growlmon, is if you make him active again, you can just activate all three effects again, which is pretty crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and start my turn. Uh, I think I Digivolved into another block blocker there so I do have um, some defense set up and then I went ahead and digivolved the Strabimon as well. I do also have the Beowulf Mon in my hand which is a really cool card. Beowulf Mon has uh, jamming and if you happen to have a hybrid or a blue 
tamer underneath him, um, he gains the effect where he just can't be attacked. So having a jammer that can't be attacked during like your opponent's turn is pretty crazy because that means you don't have to like waste a block or protecting it or anything like that. Uh, you can just kind of swing at security and you know um, rest assured that he's going to survive. So my opponent is going to swing with the Tactimon. He is the only Digimon on his side of the field, so that is why um, I kind of got rid of my Gabumon by Digivolving him. I was probably going to Digivolve him anyways, but it's not a good idea to leave rookies on the field against that guy. So he's going to gain 2,000, gain 1 memory, etc. And then my opponent is going to go up to 2 memory. Now, if we see something like a uh, Zwart or maybe a Millenniumon or something, that'd be kind of crazy. Uh, but my opponent is going to go Chimeramon. Now... That was maybe a little bit questionable. However, the Lo the Beowulf Mon with the Lobo Mon inheritable was a pretty big threat. Plus, I could reduce the cost of Ancient Guru Mon with the Nokia by one as well. So I think he was just fearing another Ancient Guru Mon hitting the field. Um, but I think I should be able to go into him anyway, depending on what my next couple of cards are here. So as long as I draw an ultimate. Um, so anyways, I'm going to play the Gabu Mon and reveal the top three. Unfortunately, not going to be able to get any Digimon off that. I haven't seen the Omnimon either. Um, I'm just going to attack with the Strabimon, draw one card off of the Upamon inherited, just sacrificing him. It's okay if he dies. Um, and now my opponent is down to two security. I'm thinking maybe I should just memory choke him and yeah, just play the Gabumon, draw a card, and there you go. I drew the Lobomon. So the next turn, if I do start my turn with at least two, I'll be able to go Lobomon and then finish off the game with Ancient Gurumon. I think I win anyways. Uh, my opponent does have one blocker, but he does need either uh, like one more blocker or some way to get rid of one of my Digimon. So maybe a Heat Viper or something or Beelzemon possibly. So we're just going to see Attack Demon. Um, Digivolve 4-3, and then it's going to pass over to me. So I think at this point, yeah, so I'm just going to Digivolve the Gabumon there and then probably go Lobomon so I can go Ancient Gurumon. I also am taking in a like, Supreme Cannon. I don't think I mentioned that in the deck list, but I was kind of messing around with it, um, where if you control a Gabumon, you can actually return all, or not a Gabumon, Garurumon, you can return everything with 5,000 or less, which is kind of crazy, because that also encompasses blockers. So, so that would get rid of his Devimon as well. Um, so that is like kind of an interesting tech that I was working around with. I decided to maybe drop it for Hammer Spark, but I don't know. You guys can let me know what you guys think of that card. Um, so I'm going to go into Lobomon directly for two, uh, Digivolve him, and then use his on Digivolution effect, go into Ancient Garumon for zero, resting the Nokia. And at this point, um, I do have game on board. So I'm going to swing with the Ancient Garumon, use his effect to make him active again, and then just swing with the remainder of my Digimon for game. So guys, that is going to be the game. If if you did enjoy, go ahead, let me know in the comments, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. Uh, but thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.